Okay, hopefully I don't get notified and buzz like crazy. Uh, just going to do a very quick demo um, of DPBR. Alright, so let's bring this fucker up. There we go. Full screen. Uh, okay, this is just some stuff I submitted earlier, but uh, oh fuck it, I might as well use it. Um, yeah, so uploading is pretty straightforward. I will just give you a quick buzz on that, but the uploading process can be a little bit slow, especially at the moment because I'm using uh, some very basic internet. So this stuff's actually stuff I just uploaded moments ago. So to save on my bandwidth, because I am on the Wi-Fi right now, uh, I'll keep this as is. Okay, so these are kind of the reference images that the system's actually kind of catered for. Like, it's definitely more nature, gravel, ground, leaves, rocks, uh, pebbles, asphalt. Um, but it's pretty good at doing most wood, like planks and bark and stuff like that. I just told everyone to bugger off. Chrome, can you leave me alone? Okay, so. Um, I swear it just comes and starts harassing me at the moment I'm trying to do something. Okay, so from this one image here is, uh, where did I just go? Where did I just go? Here we go, right here. So, this is a preview, and you've got to realize previews are not literally the finals. So finals and previews are actually quite different in their nature. So, you know, you've obviously got your cavity, AO, uh, roughness, uh, that's a displacement, once again, low resin preview. Uh, normals, which are, you know, pretty cool for that. Uh, we can jump into this component here, which then will give us, you know, literally a render of what we've got going on. So at this point, I don't have seamless on. I can turn that on, though, so you get a rather crappy seamless render that you can check out if you like that kind of jazz. Now, from this component, you can actually, from here, if there's any corrections you want to make, you can literally... Uh, you can literally just uh, tweak away. So let's say we're not super happy with the normals, right? So a good example here would be going to normals and going, look, I want the low en energy to be a bit more expressive, or reverse even. So you can tile that up and save up high energy. And so the components you add in here will actually then, essentially, when you hit render, it will then apply the process. Uh, we can do the same with displacement. So if we go and minimize that temporarily and go to displacement, this interface, by the way, we're going to completely revamp. Uh, at the moment, it's not the most fun. Uh, it's, a, it's clunky. So, high pass on displacement, we can obviously extreme, extreme these type things. Uh, dial down contrast, which just kind of flans the whole thing in general. Uh, dial down the low energy. So we're going to turn this into a simple interface where literally you don't have to you know i'm thinking more like instead of levers you know you got kind of got x y circle type things um so let's go to roughness that can be dialed up it's not quite showing you how it should be i guess um so let's go start on the brightness and this is really for if you need if you find that the system isn't actually giving you exactly what you'd expect um close this I am terrible at these videos, by the way. I haven't done this for ages. So yeah, that's not <laughs> that's not how I would like to see it happen. So guys, I'm gonna dial this down. This is uh, let's let's keep this you know let's keep this realistic. Okay, so once I've done that, I can pretty much hit render. <clears throat> we will be uh, out, we will be be making it. So once you've actually got your final render, you can actually do a secondary pass on these kind of tweaks as well, if need be. You can say, well, what do you think of the scan? So this is good, user feedback. And this is extremely important to us because we have a system in place that monitors what the user feedback is. And if we find a lot of people giving one or two stars on a result, we can literally, uh, we, we see that. And so we can then feed our GANs more data specific to that kind of use case. So there's still a lot of active backend stuff going on in regards to refining of the GANs. Um, another cool thing is you see these tags here. So these tags have all been automatically generated based on observation of the image uh, and so for future marketplace uh, if you opt in you already have uh, keywords essentially expressing um, what it is that you're looking for but you can add you can remove so you know plank rough rural I don't know if it's rural where wood wooden old well it's man-made you know but if I want to add something just throw it in uh, paint I guess because it's kind of like I think it's paint it's like scratched paint on a thing. Okay, so now I don't want to upscale this because I want to keep it at 2K nice and quick. 4K upscale would give you a 4K image. 
We do support 8K, though I don't recommend it at this moment. Our stitching needs improvement. Uh, it's also, you know, it's just much more time consuming. Um, so let's render that. That's now being thrown into the system, and we'll come back to that later. It should be done in about a minute or two. And once again, ignore the UI stuff. We are at actively working on this. So you can see this sitting here, it's now doing its thing. We can go look at some other examples. Uh, I'm just trying to think of one. Here, here's a bit of an extreme case, so how does this come about? Okay, once again, these are the low res renders. I'll actually show you the high res one once again, bug issue with the UI. Oh, did pretty nice on the roughness there, I'm actually quite impressed with that. And AO and cavity is pretty spot on. Displacement's blurry, but as I stated, low res render. So I'm just going to quickly see how this is in here, maybe dial down a little bit of the displacement on the high pass. Uh, we'll go to about there. Oh, so that actually affects the normals at the same time if you don't disable this, which once again, I think is a little bit unintuitive. So actually, you know what, I'm just going to keep it as it is. Reset all. Okay. Render away. Turn off upscale. Do I want seamless? Yeah. No. Oh. It's an option, but um, seamless on displacement right now is, is a hot mess, uh, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, though when you add seamless in as a function, you get both seamless and unseamless, so if you're not happy with the system itself, you can just add in your own, uh, you can choose to go back and then use your own software for whatever purposes. Um, a few more examples. Alright, so how did this one come out? Yeah, rock's a bit flat on that one, but the displacement's okay. Once again, what you get low res versus high res will vary, and so I'm going to give that two stars because I'm not particularly happy with that. So now, as admins, we will have feedback on that one. How'd this one come out? Yeah, it's not too bad. The D light is good on that one. Not bad at all. Yep, okay, nice. Alright, um, now I could just jump in straight away and actually show you this process. Um, so this one's a challenging one. From my memory, the delit is not the best, but it's got, you know, it's getting depth information there, which is quite good. Uh, this one's crazy. So this is a case scenario where the delit worked really well, but the normals have not been great. So this does happen, but, well, once again, uh, it's hit and miss, and so I'm kind of wondering if we should do stars for individual GANs rather than the whole entire jazz. Uh, let's look at some grass. Don't mind me, just on my vape. Quit smoking after 23 years, good for me. Oh, that's nice on the fucking, sorry, mind my French, that's nice on the roughness. Okay, let's have a quick geese at that. Oh yeah, so also, um, lighting, so you can play with all of this. Let's just turn, out the, turn down the ambient lighting, turn that one up. Let's put it into industrial. Venice is Venice, I'm going to go into an industrial park. So if we dial this back up, you'll see that it's actually done quite a good job. Once again, this is the low-res render. So let's... Oh, oh, here's another use case. I, I do love showing off these ones where it's actually really good at just removing, like, shadow. Completely gone. There you go. Just just out of there. Uh, this is another... This is kind of, kind of good. Uh, this will actually get a lot better, though, because... This is only, we're only training at 8 bits right now, so the really dark areas we're not actually pulling up as, as well as we should. Alright, uh, let's go to... Yeah, so once again, these are the kind of scans you want. Uh, this, you know, everyone's been, I've been seeing some pretty interesting things thrown into the system. It's more designed for organic. It, it's not really catered for, uh, I guess you would say, man-made materials yet. I mean, some examples come out okay. I'll have a look at this. I'm kind of Russian roulette right now. Um, so yeah, from here you can toggle between high and low. So it's fallen short on displacement. On oh no, that's roughness. That's not too bad. All right. So what do we get from this, which is a rather generic image? Yeah, normals are subtle. Once again, you can dial it up. Displacement's okay. Roughness, I actually really like that. And uh, cavity and AO are actually pretty good. And so that's a, from a 4K right there. You get you can get pretty aggressive on this. So I'll see if this one comes okay. Mm, 
yeah, it's all right. It's expressive. And so it's getting the idea of what it's, you know, you can clearly see it's got a pretty good notion of depth. And uh, that's just some random reference image I got off the internet. So, you know, it is preferred to use, I would say it's preferred to use, you know, for actual photography, because essentially that's what we've trained it on. So reference images can throw it off a little, but generally speaking, oh yeah, so we've got this one small bug, roughness is occasionally just dropping out. So if something like that happens, just re-render it, it will pop in the next time. Just weird little bugs. We've had some real issues with AWS scalability. Um, and also just, it's just really hard to um, debug issues when you're essentially uh, running remotely. Uh, okay, what's going on here? That's low res. Oh, well, I'll get to the high res one. Okay, so some stuff I prepared earlier. Um, actually, while I've got this, this is how easy it is. So all of these I just uploaded like 20 minutes ago, right? Now if it has finished, which it quite hasn't, so I'll just get rid of that one. No, I can't. Come on, hurry up and finish. I want to show people. Let me just hit refresh. Sometimes it's just a matter of it not actually being um, communicated effectively to the front end. So if you get images that look like they've hung, they probably haven't. Um, oh, actually, I just want to quickly show this as well. This is really cool. So this is completely bleached out, right? And so that this, the white in there is literally so white that the system literally doesn't know what's there, but it's actually really good at filling in what it thinks should be there. So that's a really shitty image, if, you, if I do say so myself, but you can still get some reasonable results from it. Uh, let me just turn off that again. Yeah, not not great, but considering what the image was, you've got to be like pretty happy with that. So from here, I'm just going to go to confirm all, and this is literally, I've got, I think I've got 80, 67 textures there. And I'll disable upscale because that'll give me 4K, I just want 2K. And I just hit go. And so now that's going to be doing its thing in the background and within about 20 minutes, no shit, 20 minutes, I'll have those 67 textures done. Um, and the system's only going to get faster as we improve on optimization. We'll definitely pass down the costs as we get better with optimization. So let's look at some something I prepared earlier. Sorry, just you know, that cheesy dinner thing. Um, so these are high res, and there we go. All right, so that's not too shabby. It's done a really good job of removing that shadow. Um, it's done a really good, good job of flattening them. So we trained all this on cross-polarized lighting, so it is actually genuinely accurate to a fault in regards to how good at, um, you know, it actually removes specular data in many cases, it removes um, uh, haze and all that kind of jazz. Um, and it's all been trained on, on photogrammetry and cross polarization and all sorts of other techniques that we have been playing with for many years now. And uh, how does it look? Uh, yeah, that's some rocks, alright. How's that, guys? Um, so our biggest issue right now is that we do know we're getting some artifacting in normals. Uh, we want to retrain and we do know we can definitely get, um, we're having what is referred to as convergence issues. So when we're training on the GANs they, they can swing kind of wildly and so it can be a bit hit and miss for us as to what is most effective. Um, but we're getting better at it. I mean we've spent two years on this um, and we are making progress. Um, our biggest thing is actually, the, the reason why we've endured so many delays is actually just React.js, uh, WebGL componentry we're using, uh, and mostly, honestly, it's just trying to get it all running in the cloud has been an absolute nightmare. Uh, a real brain drain here in New Zealand, to be perfectly honest, actually finding the talent to aid in that. So once again, this is a final render, and soon you'll be able to just dial it down and hit render again and Believe it or not, it'll be, it's actually a lot quicker. Once we've got the final render, we can tweak all this again, and you'll have your tweaked final within seconds. So that's cool. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, I think I'm kind of, yeah, I think this is pretty much it. I'm probably missing something glaring right now. Um, see how the grass comes out, eh? Yeah, and we will obviously be offering, you know, if you've got a 2K texture but you want to make it 4K, not a problem. Now, if 
no offense guys but that definitely looks like grass to me and by the way you're only seeing this at one or two four k like it's the final but we you know the save on bandwidth of the you know that thing called the internet we've um we've pulled it back a bit so uh yeah i don't know more textures some bricks um we will be offering perspective correction ai based pers perspective correction eventually uh which will be really cool there you go you got bricks with your displacement and this is displacement in webgl so keep that in mind if you throw this into unreal engine it's going to look a whole lot better but just to show that there is clay in there and that it is actually getting genuinely the depth of the, the process um cool thing is you can do go in here and just go instantly in here and still get your current preview operational when it doesn't hang but is. <laughs> and there's your grass once again you're only seeing this in 1024 so if you're looking at this at 4096 or 2048 you'd actually see that there's a lot more detail going on um buh, 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 buh. let's try one more yeah oh moss okay so where it doesn't correctly label it, if you label it the next time in weeks to come, we will get better uh, results essentially. So, oh, sorry about that. Once again, a weird internet dropout. Uh, turn off seamless. Let's try this one. You can tell I'm nervous because I'm just like jumping through. It's kind of like, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's my baby. Oh my God, come on internet, stop being weird. Go. So this this is a weird thing where we have a weird delay with messaging. So once again, if anyone just has experience with this stuff, like the web the web stuff, the React stuff, uh, the AWS stuff, we we're desperately desperately you know we're we're kind of happy to open up the front end on this and actually just um, get some people helping us out with this jazz. So that would be awesome. Yeah, they are some rocks. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, um, not much else to say. You, you know, you got dark mode and light mode. Um, these are your categories here, so you can actually name conveniently to what you ever want. So I can just, you know, select here, select here. Um, I can type in a word. We will have full functional search as well, so the assets you'll be able to just search at the top and just see that once again, we're a bit of, <laughs> we're a bit out of our leagues on the whole React stuff, so would love some help there. Um, and if you go back to the top, you'll probably see that a bunch of those textures I did earlier, if I hit refresh even, they should mostly be done. If I... F5 has became my friend recently. So yep, seeing a whole bunch of green, they've all been completed, all the blues are the ones in the queue. Um, yeah, uh, let's just click on one, eh? Um, Oh, a bit nervous, don't even know how it's going to come out, or even if the roughness is going to be there, because we've been dropping a few roughnesses recently. Oh, looks like it's there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, not great, but not terrible either. Uh, I think that's me, I'll check this one out, and I think I should wrap this up, because I actually got a shootout. Um, but I've been delaying on doing this video for like ages, because I'm kind of lame, kind of shy. <laughs> Alright, that's it guys, thank you very much.